Happy Mother's Day. Now, I think that only applies to North America. I'm not too sure if uh, Europe, UK has already had theirs or theirs is coming. But anyways, happy, happy to all the mothers. Conflating a couple of videos. What I want to do is show you some footage from the charity ride, which Linda and I did last week. That's coming. I was going to film yesterday, a bit of an epic ride yesterday, very windy, very hilly, but dumbass here forgot his uh, memory card for the GoPro. So no filming, no story. Sucks. Because I was a beast. You would have loved it. So what I want to do is, uh, we're doing a, just a leg stretcher. Linda's coming. And then I want to talk to you about the week I've had with the new steel bike. There's been a lot of questions about the steel bike. How it feels, the way I've spec'd it. So I want to dig into that a little bit. And we'll do that once we regroup back at Shea, Maddie and Linda. We'll see you in a minute. So here we are, race day. It's not a race, bro. It's a ride. It's a ride. Not only is it a ride, it's a charity ride. This is the CN Cycle for Chio event. We're doing the longest possible route, which is 70 kilometers. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's gonna be epic, 70 kilometers. So yeah, uh, this is the CN Cycle Ride for Chio. Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. All proceeds go to the oncology wing. So it's a, a worthwhile cause for sure. I'm not too sure why it's our first time doing it. We should have done it before, mm -hmm. but uh, hey, we're doing it. Here we are. Nervous energy. It got us here a bit early. <laughs> 50 minutes before launch time. Are you stoked? Stoked. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. You can start your elite uh, Chio ride next year, the <laughs> 170 kilometer gravel. So it's 70k. Uh, how long is that going to take us? Uh, my goal time is 245 because I'm slow. And how long is it going to take me? Uh, well, 243 because <laughs> you're going to stay with me. <laughs> Face bunny. So uh, I ran into a good friend of mine. This is Rich fellow a stroker and um, last year you got this bike last year about this time last year last night okay so so what are we looking at here so so another fellow stroker John convinced me to get a light speed because they were on sale <laughs> they were on sale <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why wouldn't you buy a bike that's on sale so I got a light speed ultimate I think it's an ultimate gravel yeah uh, GRX di2 so you got a GRX and you got the Stages GRX yeah, crank. Yeah, yeah. Stages uh, crank to go with it. And then some head wheels with Chris King hubs. I love the Chris King hubs. And I've got a second set of hubs that I'm going to get uh, Jamie at Woven to build me up a set of uh, carbon wheels for it. But he didn't have any last year. He was out of stock. Due, nice to the, uh, due to the shortages? Yeah. So, would you say you ride this gravel bike more now than you do your road bike? Because I know you got a couple of those. Yeah, this is actually my first time outside. <laughs> is it? This is your first ride outside first of the ride, year? First ride outside. This video is over. <laughs> <laughs> He's no longer a stroker. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> I'm soft. I'm fat. So we're moments away from launch time here. There's uh, I know. two, three million people ahead of us and two, three million people behind us. Ran into another stroker. Hey, how you doing? It's Everybody. my chum, Nicholas. Hi. Big expectations for the day? Uh, we're going to do the ride. That's about it. That's all, that's all we're worried about. <laughs> and With all these people, not used to being around all these people. That's 70K, what's your, uh, what's 70. your time goal on this one? Uh, well, I usually do a little side trip up Blair Road on both directions. So two and a half to three hours, take it easy today. So 70K, it's pretty flat, nothing, nothing difficult. Well, good luck, my friend. You too, thank you. Thanks, man. So we are um, 13, is that what that is? 13 kilometers into the ride so far. <laughs> really? Because I have 16. 16? <laughs> Let's go with 16. So uh, one of the issues with these mass start events, especially when there's thousands of people. The is mass it, start. Yeah, it's the mass start. <laughs> Slow rolling. 
few pinch points as well causes a bit of concern but hey riding through downtown ottawa good morning how great is this roads closed police escorts i feel like the king of england what? Where's your robe? Yeah, robe's not very arrow. Turn around point made. Turn around point is a little further than uh, halfway. Halfway, 35k. Turn around point, 50. Two. Anyways, fortunately, this route goes right by our house. So we deviated from the route. Had a little uh, nature break, bite to eat, and then back at it. I think I've seen that happen in the Tour de France. No precedence here. Anyways, 18 kilometers to go. Let's, uh, Check on Linda. All good? He's doing great. Having fun? So much fun. Did you tell him about the pit stop? I did. Good idea. Make sure you pick a race and or a charity event that goes past your house. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Okay. Back into race mode. <laughs> <laughs> Headwind on the way back. Yay! Good times. It's all for charity. It's all good. Catch up at the uh, at the finish line. I think we're in the lead. Okay, before we wrap up this video, there's a few firsts that I wanted to address. It's been a week since I've taken ownership of the Mariposa road bike. Watch my last video for a more in-depth look at the way I've spec'd it. But what are the big differences I've found moving from this, a steel bike with a carbon fiber fork, to my titanium number 22, which also has a carbon fork? So first and foremost, there are a few firsts in this bike that I had to get used to. Tubeless road tires. Not ridden on those before. I do have tubeless tires on my gravel bike, but... Um, not tubeless roads. Envy SCS 29s tubeless. These um, Envy 3.4s hookless rims will only take tubeless tires. I just found that out. The other thing is the Grupo. So the Grupo on my number 22, that bike has a full Shimano Jurace um, Di2 on it. I've never used SRAM before. This is the first time using uh, SRAM Red. So getting used to the shifting, um, it, it, it took a little bit. Saddle's different. I've got a Celia Talia on the number 22. This is a Physique uh, Argo R3, um, but so far so good. It's pretty comfortable, a week in. Geometry is um, not too different than my number 22. So that's really not a big obstacle to overcome. Disc brakes. So my number 22 has rim brakes, Jurace again, and um, I thought they were pretty spectacular. That was until I went with uh, these SRAM disc brakes. I have disc brakes on my gravel bike. I'm well aware of how amazing they are and for stopping power, better modulation, all those good things. But I rode the number 22 today and uh, you certainly realize uh, the delta between disc brakes and rim brakes. I love them both, but if I want to stop in a hurry or if I really want to stop in the wet, Let's go with this brakes. Next week, I wanna talk a little bit more about the ride feel. And I also wanna talk about the uh, ergonomics on the shifters, the SRAM red shifters. I don't have big mitts, but uh, we'll get into that next week. Beautiful bike, still enjoying it, one week in. Hey, have a great week. We will regroup next week. Thanks for watching, take care.